amazing. You are a swift and deadly warrior. They are pushing us back. Everybody, this is where we must show our resolve.
I shall withdraw for now. If my father were here, I know that he would be proud of me. <laughs> supposed ally Wu, Guan Yu was slain in battle. And in an instant, the bond so carefully formed between Xu and Wu through Sun Shangxiang's marriage were torn apart. Meanwhile, the tides of change were swelling within the Wei camp as well. Cao Cao, the hero of chaos, died and was succeeded by his son Cao Pi. Following in his father's footsteps of conquest, Cao Pi demanded the Han Emperor abdicate the throne and declared himself Emperor of Wei. In response, Zhuge Liang advised Liu Bei to stake his own claim on the throne. He reminded Liu Bei that he was an actual descendant of the Han bloodline, that it was his birthright. By doing so, he could label Cao Pi a traitor to the country for having deposed the Han Emperor. However, Liu Bei remained undecided for he was still haunted by the death of Guan Yu. Yes. We must defeat Wu. But Cao Pi is the true threat. What is the point of attacking Wu? What point? You... How dare you say that? Avenge Guan Yu's death. What other reason do we need? I'm sorry. I bring news! General... General Zhang Fei! He has been killed! His own men. What? The traitors have taken his head and fled to Wu.
For the first time in his life, Liu Bei decided to start a war rooted in hatred. Joining his sworn brother in the afterlife, Zhang Fei also passed away. The sworn brothers who had pledged to die at the same time had nearly fulfilled their oath. Meanwhile, Wu, who had betrayed Guan Yu and also killed Zhang Fei, still stood. Liu Bei brushed aside the pleas of Zhuge Liang and his other retainers, determined to launch a large-scale military campaign against Wu. Liu Bei's hatred, sorrow, and malice whipped through the sky above Yiling, signs of the impending storm. This battle would not be for justice, nor virtue, nor for the people. With a heavy heart, a pair of eyes looked upon the army of Shu, which had been transformed by vengeance. It was Zhao Yuan, the brave warrior who had fought so many battles alongside Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. Such vast numbers. The sorrow and anger that our Lord is feeling must be great indeed. But right now, he does not have any sense of perspective. He may resent it and even decide to push me away. But if I don't keep him safe, then I will be dishonoring my great forebearers. Now! I must go to him! I'm 
so glad to see you. I feared I would never see the brave men of Shu again. I'm glad you're still alive. Do you know where Lord Liu Bei is? Stop, sir. But he is south of where I hope he is What a disaster. I have no excuse for troubling you with this rabble. Don't waste this opportunity and use this momentum to press the attack. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. 